Hello everyone. It's nice to see that you are not all as the spa and interested by this panel. Um, it's interesting because I think uh, Eric can confirm that TikTok, uh, the first partnership ever and collaboration they did with the festival was Les Arts last year. So before Cannes. <laughs> Um, and we, we thought it would be interesting to, to have a, a, a kind of presentation of uh, how it can help uh, film promotion. We did it last year at the summit for distribu French distributors and exhibitors, and this year at the Industry Village. Um, also, I thank uh, Johanna Solika from Alpha Panda, which, who is here also to, to give an award at the uh, Work in Progress. To, who accepted to moderate this uh, conversation. And uh, I introduce also uh, Arash, who is here uh, with a film, Esmaya in competition. And also, uh, so it was a perfect example. We will have an example of a campaign. <laughs> and it's nice because it's also a focus on the app this year. And part of this focus is Austria. So to have an example from Austria was perfect. So I will uh, give the mic to Eric and Johanna. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Merci, Jeremy. Uh, Thank you. One last thing. If you want to ask questions, as it's uh, recorded, please wait for the mic, because even if people listen to you, we cannot record you if you don't speak in the mic. Thanks a lot. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Jeremy, for the introduction. I'm really happy to um, to introduce, I think it's one of the first intro, intro, like official introduction to the to the film industry of TikTok opportunities. What TikTok can do for films, what TikTok can do for filmmakers, how how we could use a TikTok to uh, to to uh, reach uh, beyond the usual uh, cinephiles crowd. Uh, and I'm really happy uh, to have Eric here representing TikTok. We as Alpha Panda, we are doing the, a lot of TikTok campaigns. We will be talking about it uh, at the very end of the case study with Arash. That's why we, we, we have this trio to, to today, because with Arash, exactly as Jeremy said, uh, the Ice Meyer, the case that we will show you, was a part, took part of the works in progress. Uh, and then we had a, a, an amazing collaboration together during the, its Venice premiere and during the, the release in Austria that was of course also handed on TikTok. So everything is you know, it's the whole ecosystem that we will present it to you today. Um, but before I, 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 I start with, my, with our guest today, I would like to ask you, who is on TikTok? Uh -huh. <laughs> Since yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations. You see, we are in the uh, audiovisual uh, sector, but we still don't know uh, much about the audiovisual um, platforms that are out there. But uh, I can tell you, TikTok is a new black. It presents an amazing opportunities that we will, you will soon learn about. It's uh, about targeting, about well, budget-wise. Uh, Eric, basically, it's over to you. Please tell us what TikTok is, because we don't know. Thank you, uh, Joanna. I think that uh, two years ago, uh, if the question was, uh, do you know about TikTok? I think that there would be the same proportion of people uh, saying, yes, I know about TikTok. But I think now everybody knows about the existence of TikTok, which is already a, a huge progress because the, the app was created uh, only um, uh, five years ago. And, uh, and when I joined TikTok two years ago, uh, I, I think a very few number of persons knew really about TikTok. Uh, it started in the, in, the, in the U.S. and then it spread uh, all over the world. Uh, there is a, a sister company uh, in China, very separate from uh, TikTok, but um, uh, TikTok belongs to a group uh, that is uh, originated from China and that is now a truly international uh, platform. Um, so I'd like to, um, uh, with you, uh, people from the cinema, to, to make this comparison between the, the first age of cinema and now this kind of rejuvenation of um, the art of cinema with uh, TikTok, because we really find the same characteristics. Uh, the fact that we have a, a short format, um, it started with 15 minutes, uh, uh, 15 uh, seconds, uh, 30 seconds, one minute, so it's, it's like the minute lumiere um, of the, 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 the old ages of cinema. Uh, you have also a lot of uh, visual effects, and it reminds also of the Méliès uh, era. 
And then uh, there is also a new wave of creators, um, so amateurs. Uh, there is a, uh, the, the no uh, rigid boundary between amateurs and professionals. Everybody can use TikTok and become a, a creator. Uh, so that, that's an um, interesting uh, parallel. And uh, also we have our Charlie Chaplin. It was the, the, the comparison was already, already made between uh, Charlie Chaplin and Kaby Lame, uh, which is a huge creator on TikTok, billions of views, uh, billions of uh, uh, viewers. And uh, he also uses the like the, the physiognomy uh, uh, and uh, the art of express expression that was used in the early age of cinema when there was even no, uh, the cinema was mute. Uh, the, the main characteristics of uh, TikTok is that uh, TikTok is really immersive. When you open TikTok, you have the full sound. It's very, uh, um, uh, when you are in a meeting and you open TikTok, then uh, <laughs> people will, will know that you open TikTok because you have the sound immediately. Uh, surrounding sound, you have uh, all the full screen also is uh, used by the, uh, the image. Of, and of course, it's a vertical format. Uh, it's also possible to make some uh, uh, horizontal format, but uh, it's true that the, the, the novelty of, uh, of TikTok is really the, the use of uh, this uh, vertical format, which uh, opens new ways of uh, filming, new ways of, uh, sh of shooting. Um, the motto of TikTok is uh, to inspire creativity, uh, to bring joy. Um, we all have this image of uh, TikTok with uh, 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 nice young people dancing, uh, making choreographies. Uh, it is uh, still true, uh, but uh, as we just uh, talked with uh, uh, Arash and Joanna, uh, now you can find any kind of content. Uh, you can uh, find very serious content also. Uh, very meaningful content. You can find uh, some uh, storytelling, uh, some fiction, some documentaries. So uh, um, the, the same way as you had the, the documentary uh, uh, um, uh, field of cinema and the fiction field of cinema with uh, Lumière and Méliès, uh, you have also all this kind of uh, diverse creation on uh, TikTok. And, and rich life is something that was added recently. It was the idea that you, you bring also something to the, to the audience. Uh, you answered some curiosity. Uh, and that's why uh, the, the hashtag uh, TikTok Academy, learn on TikTok, uh, film talk, um, uh, classical music, uh, book talk also are very, uh, are making uh, uh, tens of billions of views uh, worldwide. So people use TikTok now to, uh, to learn something or to teach something. Uh, entertainment, because uh, of obviously you, you want us to, to talk about entertainment and about um, uh, cinema and culture. Uh, just a reminder that the TikTok was uh, really uh, created and animated by its own creators. Uh, so a new, a new wave of creators, uh, amateurs, let's say. But now TikTok is also a tool for professionals, um, both to communicate to their audience, also to communicate um, with other companies. So the, the B2B uh, communication is also uh, very present on TikTok. And you have all kinds of uh, cultural institutions on TikTok. Uh, so uh, theaters, uh, producers, distributors, uh, bookshops, museums, and monuments. So th this is um, all we, uh, and, and so that you have many contents now that are um, uh, taking those uh, categories. What is interesting in uh, TikTok is that um, sometimes, um, of course, we have all the questions. Uh, what makes a good TikTok? How can I make billions of views on TikTok? So, uh, and the answer is, is uh, easy. It's like in the cinema. You know the, the, the joke about cinema. Uh, if we knew uh, how to make a, a good movie, uh, for, for sure, then we would all be billionaires. So th there is uh, no... Uh, uh, recipe uh, for success, except, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, bringing a good story, and uh, it's exactly uh, like uh, the cinema. And, and, uh, um, and, uh, but sometimes there is also uh, something that are not, um, uh, and also it works for the cinema, that you uh, not um, um, uh, uh, so that happens by surprise. So for instance, this on the center is uh, just an interview, and uh, the two uh, characters, that they talk about their favorite uh, uh, beverage uh, recipes, so it's very, uh, uh, very something very trivial, but then it generated uh, may, uh, many, many of uh, f I think uh, seventy uh, uh, nine uh, thousand uh, videos with uh, many uh, thousands of views. Uh, everybody took the sound of this video and they made uh, other videos that has nothing to do or that were uh, mimicking the, the video. So this virality uh, is very interesting on TikTok. And you don't need to have a, a very expensive IP to bring to TikTok to create vi virality. You must just find something that is unexpected, that is uh, uh, funny, uh, uh, or that brings some uh, meaning. Um, 
Today, you, we have more than 1 billion users on TikTok uh, worldwide. Um, the US is the first market, and then you have uh, uh, Europe and uh, all other markets. Um, and this population of users is very diverse. So uh, um, two years ago, we would say that we, have, we had a majority of young users uh, below uh, 25 years old. And now it's the reverse. You have two thirds of the audience who is more than uh, 25 years old. So that's also something that is contradicting the, the idea we sometimes have about TikTok. You can have very serious content and you, have, and you can address uh, a senior audience also. Once again, it's uh, two thirds above 20. Yes, above. 25, 25? 25, yes. Mm. Uh, so I, I won't give uh, many figures, but uh, just those three figures are interesting. Uh, so the first one is uh, you have uh, nearly uh, 60% of the TikTok viewers that are interested in contents uh, about cinema entertainment and that they want to view. Uh, entertainment studios and uh, independent uh, um, uh, studios uh, uh, contents on TikTok. Then you have uh, nearly 30% of TikTokers that will stream uh, a new movie or, um, uh, that or show that they discovered on TikTok. And then you have a, a quarter of uh, TikTokers that will buy a ticket to watch a movie that they heard of on TikTok. So this is quite uh, interesting figures. So um, it's a... Uh, an encouragement to use this platform to communicate on uh, your movies. Um, uh, so uh, TikTok is uh, about creating and promoting uh, the cinema of today and tomorrow. We are very happy to be a partner of uh, the ARC Film Festival and uh, we are also happy to be a partner of the Cannes Film Festival. Um, we had uh, this year a TikTok short film competition and it's interesting that in only one month's time um, We launched the appeal uh, to to bring uh, to create movies, uh, short uh, stories on uh, TikTok, three minutes movies, and we received uh, 70,000 movies. And uh, they made at that time of Cannes last May they made already three billion views worldwide. And now uh, yesterday uh, we uh, passed the threshold of uh, eight billion views. It means that those, those contents who were which were created six months ago they continue to be watched and watched and watched. And uh, so now you, you have this uh, tre tremendous uh, figure. I would just uh, show um, uh, some of them to, to, uh, to see that uh, they are very uh, diverse. So this is the, 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 the movie that uh, won the Grand Prix. Uh, the, we, we had two of them. So it's a Japanese movie. And you can see it's very, very well made. Riti Pan, the president of the jury, was very impressed by this movie. And it talks about also uh, deforestation in Amazon. Uh, it talks about uh, tradition and modernity. So it's like very documentary uh, made, but very nicely uh, edited. You, had, you have this one, which is nothing to do. Uh, it's, like it's very, uh, very funny, very uh, well done with uh, visual effects. I will just pass at this. It's, yeah, it's a, so it's a gamer and he creates a, Uh, he, he's in his game and he creates a zero gravity effect and everybody's uh, now in the sky. I will just show you this piece. So it's very, um, it's, it's very professional in the way it's, uh, it's made. Okay, so it's just an extract, but I, I will let you uh, watch it and uh, watch ma many more of them. Um, so this is also a way of uh, uh, saying that uh, on uh, TikTok you can promote movies, you can also create some contents that are connected to uh, movies that you want to promote, or that any can exist independently from uh, those movies. So the, f the first step of cinema on, on TikTok, we could um, have uh, avant-première uh, live streams, Uh, because on TikTok you have uh, now 10 minutes uh, videos. You can make TikTok that uh, are 10 minutes long. So it's, uh, we are increasing the duration of the TikToks um, uh, regularly. And you, you can also have uh, live streams that are illimited. So um, uh, we had, for instance, uh, for June, uh, um, uh, Timothy Chalamet uh, made a, a live stream. Um, we made a ma many red carpets in Cannes. Uh, you can show the backstage, of course, of uh, um, the, the, the movies uh, uh, re uh, screening. You can talk about the people uh, in the theaters. You can make a, have some installation. 
So this was the, um, the first um, uh, win uh, on TikTok. But then uh, we realized that there are so many things that can be done um, really uh, on the whole life cycle of a movie. Since the ideation, the first idea, um, um, and uh, for instance, uh, Disney communicated uh, recently about Hercules that was made from an idea generated on TikTok. Maybe you heard about uh, Ratatouille. It's a, a musical that was made after a TikTok user brought the idea to make a comedy, a, mu a musical comedy uh, from the, the movie Ratatouille. And then many users engaged to uh, bring ideas, to bring music, to bring uh, uh, script ideas. And uh, then the, 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 the musical was, uh, was uh, made and it was a success. Um, so you can also um, uh, bring ta ideas uh, uh, and create challenges um, when you are writing the script, the storyboards. Um, some casting, uh, the, the casting of some movies was also done on TikTok. Um, even the dubbing uh, of uh, movies were made of on challenges. Um, so the users were, would have a, a TikTok and then they would make the, the, the dubbing uh, of um, the, the, the voice of the, this extract. And then they, some, uh, one of them would get the job to, uh, to do the, the voice. Um, or even to find a new uh, actress or actresses or comedians uh, on, uh, on TikTok. This was also done by uh, some professional uh, castings. Can we stop here for a yes, moment? Because uh, obviously, you know, when you are Disney, then you have your own TikTok uh, channel and then it's easy to use it. But here we are talking to the indies, you know, to most of the independent producers, how they can use TikTok at this early stage of development, for example, when they're looking for uh, like for, with the casting ideas, what which channels they should use before even having a distributor on board? Because distributors nowadays they can they come very they tend to come very late in the life cycle of a film. So is there um, an opportunity for an independent producer to be on TikTok already, or with, even with a already a co potentially commercial film, but not having a TikTok channel for a production company or a, for a director? What would you suggest? Mm. Yeah, that, that's an interesting question because, uh, in fact, all categories um, uh, of people and entities uh, can uh, have a voice on TikTok. Um, to have uh, some success on TikTok, to make some success, you, you need to produce uh, contents regularly. So uh, the ideally, one, one video a day or at least uh, three or four videos a week. Um, and then, of course, you must um, have the, the the affinity of uh, the TikTok style. And uh, uh, for instance, so so some producers, uh, when they have uh, uh, enough movies to promote, or they, they want to use, they can use TikTok also to to, to bring uh, to find ideas, to find uh, talents. Um, and of course, they can uh, use it afterwards to, to promote the, the movie uh, along with the distributor. So uh, th that's a question, of course. You, you, uh, and I think uh, uh, for each uh, um, uh, film, there must be some dialogue between the producer and the distributor to, to know how best use uh, TikTok. But uh, really, um, a comedian, uh, um, a, pr um, a production assistant, uh, a producer, a distributor, uh, a talent, of course, the comedians. Um, everybody can um, have a, a TikTok account and use it, and it will, um, uh, for sure, contribute to the success of the of the film. And you will suggest that it should be done through the individual accounts of of that personal accounts, not necessarily brands. For example, a producer's account, not a production company, but the producers, or as you just said, production manager, mm -hmm. that is looking for some additional casting and launching this idea on on, on TikTok. Yeah, I think it can be also some agencies um, that, c for instance, for casting, uh, it can be uh, the producer, it can be an, an agency that is uh, that wants to specialize in this uh, field. Um, uh, so the uh, and the, the beauty of TikTok is that you don't necessarily uh, need um, a big budget. So because you have uh, both uh, organic growth and uh, so uh, the the popularity on TikTok is based on the quality of the content, not ne not necessarily on the advertising. Uh, um, that you, you bring in, the, in this content. Um, and it's not based on the social graph uh, that, that you have. So you can really uh, open an account on TikTok and reach success uh, with the first video if it's really well done and it, if it's, uh, it works uh, for um, the, the first people that will watch it. And the algorithm will uh, detect the, that this video is really appealing. And then it will uh, 
uh, enlarge the audience of the, the, these videos. So that, that's how uh, uh, success can be made on, on TikTok. So uh, really, uh, for the independent uh, producers, independent distributors, independent theaters also, um, really TikTok is, is made for them. And of course, then, if you want, you can also uh, boost your uh, uh, videos, you can make some uh, ads, uh, and we have um, um, uh, specialized units, uh, GBS, uh, Global Business Services, that can help uh, to uh, enlarge the, the audience and of the, or, or to, to prepare campaigns, um, special campaigns. Uh, but the organic growth is also something that is uh, important, and we also have teams that are dedicated to uh, this organic growth, uh, that can help um, uh, producers or distributors uh, editorialize their, their content. Uh, we have different verticals now that were in identified as, pri as the priorities. We have music, uh, sports, lifestyle, education, and we have entertainment. Uh, so entertainment is really uh, considered a priority. So you have uh, dedicated team teams, even in France, for instance, uh, that can uh, really help um, uh, producers, distributors, and, and we have also uh, teams that manage uh, talents. Uh, so, for instance, uh, uh, we have uh, comedians uh, that uh, are quite uh, successful, and they they are managed also by people in, at TikTok. This is really interesting uh, because you know the organic reach is kind of a holy grail. It doesn't almost it, it almost doesn't exist on Facebook and Instagram anymore. Uh, you need to really to invest in your campaigns mm. to have visibility and here as you said uh, it's organic reach is still possible and then when you said that you have teams that uh, that can really um, substantially support the campaigns can we approach them or how does it work yes exactly so um, in fact and um, uh, for instance in france uh, we have uh, uh, Camille Faguer, the name of the, 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 the person that uh, now is specialized on entertainment, and we will um, have more people coming uh, soon. Uh, so we'll have a, a team of uh, two or three people uh, on only for entertainment. So it means that for any other country, we can go on the TikTok, yes. I don't know, France, and then mm -hmm. find these names under the team responsible for the boosting the campaigns? Yes, for instance, in, in Europe, because we are really organized by continents uh, so in europe you will find also uh, this kind of these uh, dedicated teams for entertainment for organic growth in uh, for instance in germany in uh, in the uk uh, italy spain so we and uh, of course the, the company is growing um, so um, and but this, those priorities are set for all uh, european countries Oh, this is really essential uh, insight, you know, and I really would like to have this as much practical as, as, it, as it could be uh, for you guys as well, that you really know how, what to do um, um, by yourself, you know, when it comes to TikTok. All right, let's um, move to the next. So, yes, the, the idea was to, to show that on the full production cycle, you can uh, really use TikTok. So we, so we talk about uh, script uh, ideation. You can onboard uh, talents. Uh, here you have a few examples. Uh, you have uh, uh, Lady Gaga, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, and uh, Jessica, Jessica Chastain. And uh, our teams also help onboarding talents uh, to promote uh, those talents and also the, the movies that they are, they are working uh, on. Uh, ancillary talents is the idea that uh, you can create uh, dedicated um, TikTok uh, contents, like a series, for instance, so, uh, uh, IPs that are derived from uh, big IPs. Um, and uh, so the, this was a, uh, an example in Italy where Netflix uh, created some series for TikTok that were, of course, referring to a big series on, on Netflix. So this can be done also for, for movies. For the casting, we mentioned also it already. Uh, then we have um, uh, the during the the uh, project. Wait, wait, because we we've, we've talked about it before. It was not only about casting, but also about that casting for the dubbing, which mm -hmm. can also be interested for for some of your productions, perhaps that you can do a casting for dubbing, and then this guy that you had on your previous slide actually won, and he was unknown to the mm -hmm. to the industry, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, I thought it was a for a prime video um, production, The Boys. So um, the the French uh, voice for The Boys uh, was uh, found uh, by a challenge that was done uh, nationally, and um, many people uh, responded with uh, TikToks, and they they, they dubbed the. Uh, uh, the voice on, on the TikTok, and then uh, the, the, the this uh, person was chosen to, to make it, and he, he turned a professional. So, and obviously, this is not only about finding the the the, the, to the, the, the dubbing actor, but also mm. really to 
to create the early engagement and reach out to the first audiences mm -hmm. that will then spread the word mm -hmm. when the film is out and yeah. ready, right? So it's a very smart idea to start mm -hmm. the, uh, the uh, audience engagement at the very early stage of, of film production. Uh, I like also this example. Um, uh, this uh, guy with a movie camera um, was a, is a, a production assistant and he's very talented, very gifted for TikTok. So he started to make TikTok to show how a movie is shot, uh, um, especially a first movie. And uh, so he, he made so many contents that uh, were very viral, uh, many very successful, that now he's used by productions uh, to come on, uh, on, the, on the settings and uh, to make TikToks, to uh, make people uh, engaged about the movie, to be about to be uh, produced and, and shot. Uh, and then, of course, those videos would be, will be used when the, the movie will be released. So this is also the idea to bring talents, uh, to bring creators, TikTok creators, on the sets uh, to prepare the materials that will be used uh, when the movie is uh, distributed and released. Which is really amazing because mm -hmm. we, we, we filmmakers, we know that the, the shooting plan is can be really not um, mm -hmm. an exciting yeah. <laughs> time and it's really tough, but then you can still take out uh, something of it and, and then use it exactly for tic on TikTok with, with one of your um, production assistants, which is, I think it's a brilliant idea, definitely. Um, can I have a question? Yes. Yes. Um, so from the practical field, we hear um, most of the time from um, our agencies like Alpha Panda with which we work that um, we need two or three good videos except of the trailer to use. And um, I recently in the last years have the problem that I create too much material. <laughs> so I have 12 great um, two, three minute sh things about you know making off of the film and so on and so on. But there is not um, enough money, of course, to push them, and it's not iconic, um, you know, to um, to remember the film. So it's always like the trailer and maybe one or two features. If if we create so much material, how can we use it in or and, and connect it to the film mm -hmm. that it's not getting too much? Because yeah, yeah, I, I think um, as TikTok uh, needs content, so. Uh, you, you need to push to um, um, release contents regularly. Uh, the more content, the, the more material you have, um, of course, the more you can uh, bring it to TikTok and uh, the more you will uh, increase your audience. Uh, so I think... Uh, um, uh, it's so it's a little bit the opposite of... of it's the, the opposite, yeah, I, I would say, yes. Or the complementary, it's complementary, oh. yeah. <coughs> mm. Quantity is important on TikTok. Quality, of course, is important, but quantity also. And sometimes it's not the trailer you think uh, that will catch the attention that, that will do it because for unknown reasons. So uh, you are always surprised by the success of some uh, videos. So the idea is really to experiment. Don't hesitate to experiment. Some, thing we, some things will work, some won't. Uh, but at, we, uh, at least um, you will have tried and you will have some success. If we could elaborate on it, um, because I think it's a very good question when you actually have a content and then of course some of them like the, the key content like teaser trailer you will push with some money because you really want to reach these people that you want that you know that you need to reach. But a part of that when you have uh, additional content that you can just post natively, how this, what is the secret behind the, the TikTok algorithm that is so successful? Yeah, so uh, um, as I started to say, um, the, the algorithm is nothing else than uh, a tool that will uh, test uh, the videos on a certain amount of people, of users. Um, uh, the, the uh, what is revolutionary maybe in, in TikTok is that the content will look for the user. So it's, uh, on other platforms, you have to, uh, to find the content, to look for the content. And on TikTok, it's the contrary. Um, the content is pushed uh, towards users that are supposed to like this kind of content. And if the proportion of people that watch the content, that watch it until the end, maybe that will watch uh, two or three times. So all these indicators, uh, users that will put some comments, uh, that will react, that will share, uh, all those indicators are analyzed. And if they are good, um, if the, there are a lot of uh, comments, uh, uh, shares on, on uh, such video, the, this video will be uh, uh, pushed more. Uh, they it will come to more people, uh, more for your feed. Uh, and then that, that's how the virality can, uh, can uh, the audience of the, 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 the video can grow. 
But is it and only sometimes it can reach a, a world audience. But is it only about the the the, um, the 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 clip itself, or it's also about hashtag strategy, for example, together? Uh, yes, of course. It's um, it's the the, the quality uh, of the video. It's also the, the the hashtags can be indicators that also uh, help the algorithm to uh, push the content to different kind of people. So, if you put a film talk, of course, it will go to the communities that uh, love uh, watching um, uh, movie. Uh, TikTok about films. Uh, if you put TikTok Academy, then it's a, it has a educational content, so it will be pushed to people that li like this kind of educational content. Um, and then you have trends. Uh, you, you have to surf on different trends. Um, uh, the, the, uh, sometimes the editorial teams or the commercial teams um, promote some uh, hashtags, and uh, so you can use when they are relevant. You can use them uh, to gain more virality. You can use the sounds also, um, uh, so some s uh, some some sounds are viral, and you have to weekly trends that are different, and so you can pick up a, a sound that is uh, uh, viral to, uh, to to boost your your video. And how do I find about what is trending right now on TikTok? In fact, it's all uh, on the platform. In fact, if you go to the sound library, you will see the top uh, 50, the, the the last trend, etc. So it's very detailed. Uh, and then if you engage uh, also with the, the TikTok teams, um, both editorial team and GBS uh, team, they will also provide some uh, some service and some uh, some assistance. So. Um, there are so many things to, to, to say, and maybe you have some, uh, some questions. Uh, something that is also interesting is that uh, uh, some content um, can uh, be, um, uh, um, can have some appeal uh, independently of the, the time they are released. So we, as we name uh, we call them uh, evergreen content. Also content from uh, old uh, IPs, old uh, series or films. Uh, so you can see Friends, uh, The Nanny, The Office, uh, Shinefield, etc. Uh, they, they gained a new popularity uh, thanks to TikTok uh, on, on a new generation. So it's also uh, an appeal to uh, sometimes revive uh, the, the vibe of uh, all the movies that you have in on your catalog, uh, back catalog. Uh, because obviously your movies will continue to live on, the, on different platforms, on a DVD and a VOD. Uh, so uh, TikTok is also a nice way of uh, bringing back those old memories of the past, uh, those old uh, oldies, uh, to, um, uh, and, uh, to, to regain some popularities and, and sales, of course. Um, we, of we also um, uh, realized that uh, about uh, books, uh, sometimes uh, the book talk trend initiated in uh, the US and it was about a book of um, uh, Greek antiquity. So uh, uh, it was someone brought a, made a book talk, which is a, a kind of a literally a, a, a chronic on TikTok about this book. And then the book was sold out. Uh, it was an old book, and uh, really it was not a bestseller. So uh, this is also interesting. Sometimes we can have a, a, a second chance for a movie that unfortunately was not a, a, a hit uh, when it was released in, in the theater, theaters. And maybe someday uh, it will be a hit again, and uh, we can, uh, like in book um, uh, bookshops, and uh, maybe you could even have a, a new release in uh, in theaters. So we can have uh, very uh, nice stories. Mm. Great. Huh. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that was uh, really the uh, so the things. We, yeah. Another case was interesting was Stranger Things. Also, uh, it was a very nice operation about uh, Stranger Things. Also to create some filters, uh, so you can also um, uh, uh, design some filters, some effects, even some uh, augmented reality effects. Um, you can um, uh, buy them on, on TikTok uh, with the GBS team, but you can also generate them organically because we have a house of effects and uh, any designer, any engineer can create filters, effects, and bring them onto TikTok and then you can use them to create some variety about a movie. So that's um, also something interesting. Uh, and uh, so sometimes, of course, we are asked, uh, "What? Uh, how can you? Can I join TikTok?" So you just have to create your account. It's uh, it's really easy. It takes uh, 30 seconds to create your account, and then uh, the idea is really to test and learn to produce one one TikTok a day, if possible, or at least three or four per week, and uh, and and then um, reach the assistance of uh, TikTok teams when you want to uh, to know more about uh, the application. Can we be also a passive? 
users of TikTok. So just yeah, have an account. Of and in fact, uh, yeah, well, probably, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, more than 80% uh, of, of TikTok users are uh, viewers, in fact, yeah. Um, uh, so, um, uh, and um, in fact, it's like, uh, it's like tele televisions. That's why also we have a lot of senior people on TikTok because you just have to, uh, to, um, uh, to open your TikTok and then you can uh, scroll on the, 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 the videos and, uh, uh, and the videos are lo longer and longer. So um, you can really uh, spend a lot of time on, on TikTok and uh, entertaining yourself or educating yourself. Thank you very much. I, um, before we move, because I really would like to uh, show you next, uh, in the next um, uh, part of this uh, panel, how TikTok was used for the very precise uh, title. Uh, last question to you, Eric. Um, you being a creative, we have a writer here, uh, not only a top manager of at, uh, at TikTok, um, you as a, as a writer, creator, um, is, can, are you using TikTok for your work when you think about, I don't know, audience habits or generally what people are interested nowadays? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. Um, I think um, I use all the kind of uh, social networks, but I, I like TikTok because uh, it's re it's really creative and uh, it's also very um, it suits your interests. Uh, so when you're watching specific contents, uh, I don't know space exploration, for instance, uh, then you will find so many uh, interesting videos from uh, all the world. And uh, so I think it's uh, yes, it, in a few um, in an one hour, for instance, you, you will have uh, 60, 60 different experiences and uh, contents. So I think it's interesting also as a, uh, a way of uh, uh, also uh, uh, looking for subjects that correspond to your interest. Or sometimes you can also play with the algorithm. Uh, or just open an another account just to see what people uh, like to watch also. So it, you can uh, use it in different ways. So basically it's very much about getting inspired, right? Yeah, 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 be, uh, yeah exactly, getting inspired, yes. I think it's a good definition. Hmm. And probably also getting insight about what audience is now mm -hmm. looking at or interested in and, and how much, they, how, how they are perceiving center, certain mm -hmm. topics or subjects, how do they talk about it? Yes, and you can also engage with the audience. That's, that's interesting. You can uh, um, bring uh, a video that is provocative, um, that is, of course, be, 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 um, between the, the bounds of uh, what we tolerate, of course, but uh, you can provoke people and, uh, and see how they react. So that, that's interesting also to, to, to test uh, and experiment uh, things and see how the audience reacts. Maybe also last question, because... Um, Usually when we do the campaigns on, on TikTok, we work from the distributors or, or platforms, big platforms, um, streaming platforms, uh, TikTok accounts. But f w does it make sense to, to open a separate account for a one-off? Uh, if it does, when <laughs> it makes sense? Or it makes sense only for TV series, for example? Because I, I believe that when you have um, a longer um, content that it makes sense but for one off what do you think um i think it's better to have an account that will be live and uh, live uh, for a long period of time and uh, that you can uh, uh, really uh, bring new contents uh, regularly to increase your also your the, the number of followers because it, um, it's it's it remains important to, uh, to also to create a community so i think as a producer um, or as a distributor you uh, I think it's interesting to, if you open an account, of course, to use it for different movies, of course. And, and, uh, um, but you, you can, uh, sometimes we, th that's something that was made, I think, for Spider-Man. They created a, an account of a, a false uh, newspaper. So that was an interesting uh, uh, experiment. So it was, the idea was to challenge the audience and to bring uh, articles to this uh, new newspaper. Uh, so you can also use uh, open accounts to uh, to create like a campaign or a, a dedicated operation uh, so you can still uh, have uh, some one-offs right. provided you create some vir virality and it becomes successful and then uh, yeah, that's it. yeah but it means that you also can extend the story world of your film uh, and just um, f um, f give your audience the um, uh, the the more more uh, possibilities of engaging with your story or with your characters or with the style topics that you are talking about. Uh, thank you, for, uh, Eric, very much. We are still st staying uh, here, but I would like to move right now to um, Ice Meyer um, that was um, produced by um, Arash. Um, uh,
an amazing Austrian producer, uh, that uh, the film that was, uh, as I already mentioned, presented here for the first time in the Works in Progress section, exactly last last year, yeah, it was last a year, year ago, and then had um, a Venice premiere in the uh, Semaine de la Critique section, um, and I would like to start, I don't know how much time we are, with, with a trailer. But it was a very, it's a, a very interesting case study because it's actually a, a fiction film based on a true story, right? Yes, we had, uh, we had several problems to deal with. We had a, uh, so Eismeyer is the story of the most feared um, military instructor in the Austrian army. So generations of soldiers were uh, kind of tortured under him. And um, he had a, he was uh, um, living a double life. He was gay. Um, had a family with a child, uh, and uh, at one point he fell in love with one of the soldiers who was openly gay in the army, and then in the end they married. So um, it was a story of someone who was very controversial. At the same time, we wanted to tell this part of the story that showed why this guy was maybe how he was. So once we got the first fundings, we got some emails from some people who uh, were kind of, who suffered uh, when they were in the army and said, yeah, this guy was really an asshole, don't make a movie about him and so on. And uh, so we were kind of, we had to deal with all of these aspects of reality and not reality, the story of his wife, we changed because we didn't want to uh, dare to, to tell the story of, of her because we didn't know that story. We had contact with him and his lover uh, or his husband now. Um, so we took that part, we changed the reality partly and we had to find the right way to promote that without being, uh, you know, like superficial or, or cheesy or um, we couldn't go too much into that direction of the classical LGBTQ films and of course, we didn't. The, the, the distributor didn't want to frighten the normal, so-called normal audience, uh, which was the main target group. And that's why the trailer that we'll show you um, was for the Austrian release, which we used also internationally. But they, the distributor didn't want to put too much uh, gay content into it. This is also why the poster that you are saying here is uh, that was the poster created for the Austrian release, but for the international release it was a different poster. Yes, we had the, the Austrian because the guy was very famous in Austria. Everyone knew him. Um, we worked with this poster, and for the international one, we have a poster where um, the two uh, lovers are hugging each other um, because internationally no one knows Eismeyer. There, the love story of this. In, in this kind of uh, toxic masculine world was more interesting. So we chose that one. And we tried to hide it a little bit for <laughs> the, for, from the Austrian audiences. Um, so because it was interesting, the distributor made some test screenings um, with young uh, soldiers and people, and um, most of them said they would watch definitely a film about Eismeyer, but they would not watch a gay movie. So. Which also proved that the testing campaigns really make sense to really understand what people will go for. Uh, let's let's watch a trailer so you get also the idea if you haven't seen the film, but it's here also playing, right? Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's in the competition tomorrow afternoon, whenever you have time, go for it. So, I say this just one last time. The next, the next six, six months, we are hard. Aber ihr seid hier bei der Creme de la Creme. Das ist ein kompletter Psychopath. Komplett Psychopath. Noch einen Fehler. Noch einen Fehler und wir dann kriegen einen Brief, wo drinnen steht, für das Vaterland gefallen. Wenn so Leifertypen wie Ihnen, wie keiner mehr das hier. Wer sich an die Regeln hält, hat nicht zu befehlen. 20. 40. Wieso? 40. 40. Ich sag einmal, 60. Ich sag einmal, kapierst du nicht, dass du die Waffen willst. So ist es. 60 Liegestütze. Aufstehen. Fragen Sie, weil ich ein Zuspieler oder weil ich schwul bin? Sie 
Sure, we can jump between. We can jump between. <coughs> Perfect. So we did the first um, 30 second teaser, uh, and we wanted to present that first. Um, but then um, we got selected for Settimana della Critica, um, and uh, the idea of of, of our um, team um, of uh, our um, partners was that it's better to have a cooperation with um, Variety, maybe if they take the trailer and make a um, premiere on Variety exclusive. So we kept then the teaser back because it would would be better not to put any material out before that. And so we used then the teaser later for the campaigns uh, online and um, and yeah, let's let's look at it. It's a different approach. So I sag das jetzt nur ein einziges Mal. Die nächsten sechs Monate werden hart. Aber ihr seid hier bei der Creme de la Creme. Das ist ein kompletter Psychopath. Same. Noch einen Fehler und ihre Eltern kriegen einen Brief, wo drinnen steht, fürs Vaterland gefallen. Ich bin so Schleifertyp. Now jumping a little bit uh, because we want to really to show you how how it all went because it's, this is a really a um, successful story. This film premiered at Lannes, but it also won an award. It was an amazing premiere that you had because it was really an event yes, premiere. Yes, the, the the it was very important that we worked together with Alpha Panda and our um, uh, press uh, people from Wolf Consulting, and um, I remember. I met uh, Matthias, uh, your partner in Cannes, uh, with with um, with um, some other people from your company, and we were brainstorming what can we do, because normally when you're not in the main competition of one of these festivals, there is a danger that no one sees the film. So um, then we said, okay, what can we do? And the idea was if we can bring the real couple, um, preferably in their uniforms, in which they married, to Venice put them on the red carpet, and first we said if they could hold their hands, it would be great. And then we said maybe they could kiss. Uh, and we said we can't promise it, but we will try. We had a good relationship with them and so on. Uh, and then there was a huge amount of complications because of that, because if uh, someone from the army wants to wear the uniform, they need the permission. If someone from the army wants to wear a uniform in another country, they need the permission of the other country. So we needed the permission of the Italian uh, government. But but we made it and they came and this was like amazing because they were walking in Venice at the prom uh, promenade and everyone thought they are some superstars and wanted to have pictures with them and so on. And then we managed to because normally the films that are in the side sections don't have um, red carpet. Yeah, red carpet time. We somehow got it, got the permission with the support of the festival and the press people. And we had 15 seconds. We stole the show of Paul Schrader because he was after us. And these 15 seconds of them on the on the red carpet, I have here. Um, maybe you can. The next six months, they will not live. Hört ihr Gichtl, Alter, was ist los? Auf dem Boden, toter Mann! Sie sollen aufstehen, hab ich gesagt! Was ist? Du lachst! Du lachst! Du lachst! Wenn sie erfrieren, dann bring ich sie um! Du bringst du auf den Test! Was wollen sie von mir? Was wollen sie von mir? So that was more viral piece that we didn't use then as planned, but used it later. But how does this, uh, how, how cursing is working on TikTok? Because when and whenever you have cursing on Facebook, Instagram, it's banned, right? It's censored. Mm -hmm. 
And on TikTok? Uh, no, that's an interesting question. Yes, the, um, we, we have a moderation uh, system because as we have uh, some uh, um, uh, users that are uh, 13 years old and older, um, so we, we have to, yes, to, to be careful about uh, there is no pornography, uh, there is even uh, no nudity. Uh, and uh, of course, the, the insults are not uh, tolerated. Um, but uh, we, we admit that for when it comes to artistic works, we had interesting conversation, uh, even uh, regarding our TikTok short film, uh, because uh, um, uh, in, in Cannes, sometimes we, the movies that uh, uh, were very interesting artistically, uh, something, something was uh, uh, a bit... Uh, um, uh, there was not corresponding to the, the, some of the guidelines that we have for our users. So I, I think it's an interesting um, uh, terrain to, to talk, and uh, probably we have to, uh, to invent rules that uh, can uh, uh, be different when it comes to artistic uh, films, that um, different from what is uh, applied for other kinds of uh, TikToks. All right, thanks. Well, let's let uh, oh, let's watch sorry. the 15 seconds. Yeah. So this um, 15 seconds and their two, three uh, tender kisses created a huge amount of pictures on Getty Images and other <laughs> agencies. Um, and the film was the film that was, of course, in all of the reports and, and media um, about the films of, of Venice. This was there. This picture was there. So it was in the top 20 films to recommend, together with Inari 2 and other films. And it really helped um, to, to have this brainstorming together and, and and think about and there's it. also a way how you 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 could you could use the opportunity of translating what happened offline, so on the red carpet to online world, and also you know boosted beyond the just the festival uh, attendees. And here, you know, that, that uh, right after Venice, two months exactly, uh, the the film has um, a national release in Austria. The distributor was Film Laden. And we worked, we continued to work on the film, but at this time with the distributor. Um, and this is the, just the, you know, the screenshot of a uh, few of the um, uh, video content we've created. Actually, we, we created all together six posts. So that was only six uh, clips for ma tailored made for, for TikTok. Uh, we started uh, a month before as uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the release, uh, this is how it look how it looks on the Film Laden um, account, together with another um, film, Breaking the Ice, the the, the the documentary that we are also actually handling. Uh, so to, all together, that were that was the same timing. Uh, and let's 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 move to the next slide that you could see what kind of materials we've created. So from the, let's just play the first one. Proud soldier or um, secretive man? So it's very much about teasing. Let's let's play the the, the next one. So Stimmt die Geschichte is mit der Kuh the story und true? Mit der also so wie sie erzählt wird, stimmt sie nicht. Charles schießt auf kein wehrloses Tier. Einstein ist bekannt für scharfe Schuss und wir waren so. dort auf Übung und haben dort geschossen. Und ich war immer schon wissbegierig und wollte mit einem Trümmern schießen. Bar hochgezogen und gesprengt. So ein in Interview between the actor Bar and the real guy we shot in Venice, the team of Alpha Panda. Und es war halt eine Kuh gerade auf dem Weidefeld. Aber das there is a legend um, about the cow that Eismeier shot or exploded. So is it true or not? That's the question. Ich habe keine Schimpfwörter gelernt bei dem Film. Arschloch! Du Gichtler! Schatzel! Schatzel! Geh mal nicht am Beidl! About the cursing words that he had to learn for the film. And the third one. Sixty 
Right, and so as you can see, it's from more the traditional cut from from the uh, from the film itself to the tired made materials, longer and shorter formats also works. And the next slide we have with a, a bit of statistics. So as I said, we actually created six um, posts. The budget was only 300 euros. This is really small. You can afford it. I mean, your distributor afford it for sure. Um, so can we say that it's 50% you can make more than you can do with on f Instagram exactly. and Facebook? Exactly. Yeah. So with this money, you double the reach and impressions. Uh, with the, so it's much more um, effective campaign that actually that what the, the numbers are proving right now. And with the, la the last slide, uh, you know, this you also you are also of course getting the statistics, so you can also see who is reacting the most. You might think that hey, this is such so much um, male-driven story, so the male audience will r react very strongly. But actually, it's it's kind of 50-50, or actually even women audience is is a slightly b bigger for this one. So that's also something that you cannot sometimes guess, but you will learn it from the statistics that you get from from TikTok. Anything else that you would like to add, Arash, on the top of that? Um, yeah, I mean, some, there are so many things that we could talk about. That one thing that made me quite um, happy was that um, one of these people who wrote us an email that we should not make the film because this guy was a asshole and he had uh, he had tr he has a trauma f because of that. Um, he wrote us then later, and he watched the film two times. He wanted to have the posters, <laughs> and he said um, the film was so helpful for him to overcome the whole uh, trauma that he had, mm -hmm. to understand more, to see it from a point of view that really um, made us very happy. Uh, I think we have some time for questions. Thank you very much, to both of you. And <laughs> right, Jeremy, we have few minutes for questions. There is one question, sir. A more general question. Uh, B2B marketing through TikTok, does it work? Is it useful? Can you say something about it? Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, B2B um, yeah. marketing it works on TikTok. And um, so we have a um, different brands that, that use uh, TikTok to communicate uh, to their suppliers, clients, and uh, so it's a, it's a new trend on, on TikTok, that's right. And this is very interesting because usually when we do campaigns, especially for the word premieres, for example, like for the case of Venice premiere for, of, of Ice Meyer, we are using um, uh, Facebook and Instagram for B2B campaigns and TikTok only for B2C. So this is actually also a new... Ter territory to um, to discover, and uh, but talking about new things, uh, I know that you are s have something new cooking for the creative um, creative sector. Like, can you share with us what is the the new um, uh, the new activities or the new features that you will start doing that also take into consideration the creative sector? Uh, in fact, we have we have so many. <laughs> I'm not sure to know <laughs> the one that you. you um, in, in fact, n now we are cr uh, testing a, a, f a creator fund, which is a, a new version of the creator funds that um, uh, allows to, uh, uh, to to compensate the, the creators that are making uh, uh, TikToks when they reach a certain amount of audience. So this is something uh, that we are beta testing in France, uh, in, in another country, and that will be uh, generalized, and it creates a, a huge difference. Uh, in the engagement of the creators, and uh, uh, so that that's so something new that we are testing now. Um, and directly uh, watching a trailer of the film and then buying tickets, it will be possible. With um, in fact, yes, uh, there are also um, uh, new possibilities that um, uh, will emerge uh, for um, uh, different models of a uh, subscription, uh, paid live streams, etc. So yes, we have many things ahead that are coming. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I actually have two questions. Um, one would be, would you use the same videos you're creating for TikTok? This is for Alpha Panda and um, uh, and Arash. Um, would you use them for Instagram as well, or you create different uh, clips and um, 
content for both platforms. Um, and the other one would be um, all the clips that you showed your scre uh, screening on TikTok, um, are they all um, also advertised? So you're putting money on them or is there also like um, organic posting on, on TikTok or you only use those uh, and push them with money? Do you wanna go for it? I think here in this case, we use the same clips. Um, I think one of the reasons why we didn't use TikTok also extensively was that the main target group was older. Mm. So it was a additional thing that we did, yeah. But still, the statistics shows that you know, the younger audience on TikTok really reacts very nicely to the film. And answering by direct to your question, uh, yes, we we uh, in this case, you know, we we, we had three six posts. Uh, social media are all operating with the vertical format, so it's it's easier. You just have a content that you just adapt to different. Uh, but I, w I would have definitely other case studies that, that we, we only have a tired made TikTok content. Uh, this is just not this case. Uh, about the targeting, uh, since we, you know, we want we we are uh, we want to be effective, and this is a very short time uh, campaigns for the film releases. Then we need to push. So we, we yes, we do invest, but as you can see, three hundred euros. This is really nothing as a budget for a country that it's not that small, Austria. You know, um, so it's it's uh, to we are say, small. <laughs> to s oh, I know smaller compared countries. To <laughs> <laughs> now, com well, compared to part of France or Germany, um, but uh, yes, we we do uh, because then you we are using when you are pushing a content uh, with, if it's on TikTok or Instagram or, or Facebook, then you also have uh, additional tools to precisely target people. Uh, usually through interest, but there are also more mm, sophisticated y uh, ways of, of targeting. But basically, uh, you because we want to really reach to the people we know we, we need to, then for this you need to pay. Is it working? Um, the, uh, the reason why I ask this is if you uh, have to kind of um, pretend that you have a lively TikTok um, account or does it like is it enough to have these six videos and push them you know what I mean like on an Instagram account you would do a lot of um, sp um, extra organic postings and this is only specifically produced uh, to advertise basically I mean, I, I wouldn't see a harm of doing organic. We just don't do it because we need to prove to our clients that this is an effective uh, campaign. But at the same time, this is what you heard from Eric today. Uh, organic reach still does exist on TikTok. And then the algorithm is really working for the organic reach. Um, the content is finding the users and not the other way around. So uh, it's just the, you know, the knowledge that you need to have uh, what to use, what keywords, hashtags, what kind of uh, tired material are working the best, and then uh, and then test, obviously. And by the way, about testing, um, can you do before any release, like like we do dark posts on in Instagram and Facebook, to test some kind of assets? Can you do the same so they don't appear on on a, on a timeline, for example, of a, uh, on a distributor of a distributor account, but we just launch it to test if the, if it works or not? Like for example, we have three teasers and we want to find out which one is the most effective one. Uh, yes, I guess I, I guess here you can do it. Yes, from another account, and it's so easy to create an account. Yeah. All right. I think from uh, from position of the creatives. It's uh, it would be great if it remains like this with the organic uh, reach out. That is not like Facebook and, uh, and and Instagram. That after sometimes you only could reach it when you paid. And the challenge will be now, I think, for us to um, to have to have money to edit all of this stuff, all of the content, because three hundred euros for spending this is nothing. But you need three to five hundred euros to create one clip. If it, or we learn um, during the filmmaking to create easier, uh, it's more simple clips that have a special idea in it. 
you know, like a little joke or a little moment or something like that. So uh, that's that's for me the learning out of this too. But it also now you go back to something that is very basic but still uh, underestimated. I would say that's having a strategy before entering the shooting. Then you will know uh, what you would need when the film is ready and out. And you could also use, first of all, the creativity of the people on set, but also your production budget um, to create stuff that will help you uh, promote your film later. One last question, if it's okay for you. I just, hello, does this work? I just wanted to ask how adaptive the uh, algorithm actually is or how much you're kind of locked in in your past interests. I think that, for example, YouTube is very terrible at that, that uh, it always comes back to stuff that is years old and still thinks you're interested in it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a very good question. And um, so we are constantly improving, of course, the, the way the algorithm uh, works and also taking into account all the feedback we get from the users, also from the, the stakeholders, the, 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 the governments, the regulation authorities, uh, etc. So, uh, for instance, now it's easier. Uh, no, f f first uh, of all, you can uh, w uh, play with the algorithm. Uh, so you can, uh, um, if you want to, to watch different kind of contents, you can uh, look for, for them on the, uh, on the, the hashtags, on the, uh, the, the, the research uh, uh, page, and so you, you can, uh, uh, really show the algorithm that you are looking for other kinds of content. You can also uh, indicate uh, that you are not interested anymore in this kind of content. For instance, a journalist uh, makes a research on this t topic and then he wants to switch to another topic. So you can also um, uh, reset in a certain way um, the way uh, uh, the, your preferences. Uh, you can, uh, in fact, uh, change your preferences anytime because uh, you have also a page where you, you have or not your preferences um, and then uh, there, there are some uh, also some um, uh, thinking about uh, the, the idea of to reset completely the, the, your account but uh, this so this is not decided yet but uh, we are thinking about it that seems I developed for myself a very simple method mm -hmm. I like a lot of things that I don't like yeah. <laughs> like a right wing websites or <laughs> some shopping <laughs> things and stuff to make the algorithm get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's an, uh, that's a, ni a nice way yes, to, to, uh, to avoid being trapped in uh, those famous uh, rabbit holes. Um, but, and, uh, what is interesting on TikTok is also that the, the, um, we really want to promote uh, disco uh, disco uh, discoverability. Uh, the idea to, uh, that users must we must help the users discover new fields. So sometimes it's a connection that will be made between two different topics, but that are somehow connected together. And sometimes it, um, it's just the idea to bring another topic out of the blue in your, your, for your feed to see how you react. Um, and uh, so that, that's something also that is interesting, yes. So we are very conscious of the, the, the need not to trap the users into a rabbit holes. Thank you very much. Um, I hope we inspired you at least to uh, try and open your own uh, account on TikTok to learn more about what uh, people are interested in nowadays and um, how how the uh, the audiovisual content can be used um, in so many different so many different ways. Um, this is a drink time, right? Yes, there is a Let's meet during the drinks. There is a, a cocktail offered by the Dutch Mint Crown at uh, Belle Pinte.